first picked this guitar up, it was, you know, for me, it was the, the sound of it that was the first thing that, that impressed me. It was like, wow, this guitar sounds great. I was obsessing about this guitar after the first time that I saw it, but then, of course, it left for Guitar Player Magazine, right? And I thought, I'm never gonna see this damn thing again, you know, because somebody's gonna say, oh man, you, I gotta get this guitar, you know? So I was really nervous, and when it came back again, you know, I came right here. I came right here, and, uh, and when I played it that time, it just felt like the most natural thing to me to play this instrument. And, uh, and the neck, I mean, you know, especially the roasted maple neck, it's just, uh, you know, as I was saying before, it just sounds like, um, or not sounds, but it feels like an instrument that's been played for 30 years, you know, and played a lot, you know. And yet, it's, you know, perfect, you know, in terms of like intonation and, and uh, of course, there's no fret wear, it's new, you know, and stuff like that. So, the, you know, there's so many aspects of the guitar that were just so impressive to me, and not the least of which was these tuners. You know, the locking tuners, I'm like, they said that, you know, you see like, like, oh, those are locking tuners. I'm like, no, they're not, they're just regular, you know. And uh, when I saw how it worked, it was just amazing, you know. And, and you can, you can, you can really um, change strings fast with these as well. And the other thing that I was amazed, as you know, I've, uh, I've talked with you about this, that I really don't or haven't used a whammy in, in many, many years. And this one, I just started doing it, it was like, you know, I'm not even close to there where I want to be yet with it. But let me tell you, it ain't gonna take that long because I can, it just feels very natural. And the biggest fear, of course, is it's gonna go out of tune. And it just doesn't, you know? And you just go like that one time, you know, if it goes out a little or something, and, and it's like, bang, like right back. Now, well, you know, I think they're a, it's a vintage sound, but there's, but it, it's a little bit, it's broader. It's a little bit broader. So it's a, like a, you know, obviously vintage pickups, because a lot of them were hand wound, you know, back in the day, they're all a little different, but they're all have a certain sort of voice, you know, that's, um, uh, for me, you know, a little bit on the um, bright side. Whereas this is, a, they're a little more, more full range, but they maintain some of that nice sparkle in the top. So, so far I'm happy, you know. I may, maybe, maybe in the future we'll, we'll try some different voicings, who knows, but, but right now, man, I'm, I'm just loving the guitar so much. I just, you know, I plug it in in the morning, you know, I, I, well, it's actually, it's, all, it's always on. I just get up, fall out of bed, and, and I, I'm supposed to like, do other stuff, you know, that I start playing the guitar and I'm next time, you know, three hours later, I'm like, oh shoot, you know, I forgot to do this or that, you know.